In science, the term intelligence typically refers to what we would call academic or cognitive intelligence. A person's IQ can be calculated by having the person take an intelligence test. So IQ is an acronym for intelligence quotient. So what is IQ? Well, an IQ is simply a measurement of your intelligence and is expressed in a number. The average IQ is 100. If you achieve a score higher than 100, you are smarter than the average person. And a lower score means you are somewhat less smart. Gifted and talented students, or those in the educational system, tend to need a IQ score of greater than 130. That would equate to about 2% of the population. Less than 2% of the population is also below an IQ score of 70. However, 95% of the population is between 70 to 130. Just to have an idea of what that means, Albert Einstein is, tends to have 160 to 190 as an IQ score. That's estimated. Stephen Hawking has an IQ score of 160. The highest recorded IQ score is William James Sidis, who had 250 to 300. Please note, though, that IQ score is not supported by the multiple intelligence theory. Multiple intelligences really is at odds with the entire idea of an IQ. Only three intelligence types in Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences will overlap with what is normally defined as intelligence or what would be measured with an IQ test. Thinking in terms of multiple intelligences is really at odds with the idea of the G factor, G factor being the scientific term for IQ. This generally assumes that there is only one general underlying factor for an intelligence.